Barbie from Scrappy Mini. Now I want to create something that um, when I'm crafting, I would like to be able to place my um, my pictures down on my paper and then have something that I can go ahead and use my magnets, as you can see here. I can use my magnets and put it down. I do have a magnetic cutting um, mat that um, I have, but it's 15 by 15, and sometimes I may want something larger so I can fit two layouts at the same time or things like that. I also want to have something that I can, because um, when I'm sitting down, um, I want to get a better view of uh, kind of the whole layout than when sitting down. So if I had something that will tilt it up a little like this, I think that will be great, especially if it's silted up and I can put some magnetic, um, so I can put the paper and things like that and, and do my layout. So what I decided to use is this book plate that I have here. Now this is a book stand that I purchased a long time ago and it works like this. You just put it down. Okay. And see how perfect that would be if I had something like that and I can still see my layout and I can kind of do things. Plus it also will work for mixed media because I can put, I can paint and then drip the paint like that and get those nice drips coming out down your page and then lay it back down. So I decided I want to use something like this. This is a piece of form cord and I think this will be perfect to put here. And then, hopefully you can see it, to put here and then I can kind of lay my paper on this board. And I, and I could even put some magnetic so that way it will hold it up. But my issue is, see it's not holding it up. So then I decided, I had some old Rostolia um, magnetic latex paint primer. And I created this, hopefully. Sorry that I'm moving you. I created this. Now what I did is you need three coats of this primer. So you need three coats of this primer. And now when I do lay my piece down, and let's say I want to put a piece of paper here. So, um, you know, I got a piece of scrap. And I want that there. I can lay it, see how it stays down, and maybe I want another piece of scrap, and I can lay that there. Maybe um, I also want to go ahead and paint, so instead of taping down my edges, I can use this magnetic um, ruler, and I can paint, and nothing falls. Look, it stays, it's staying right put onto my board. So I went ahead and put three coats, so I let it dry thoroughly between each coat and I put three coats and after I put the three coats of this paint then I went ahead and went over with the gesso and I used some big stamps that I have purchased a long time ago and I put my um, my image on here and I put a little line just so it looks a little bit like chalkboard and then after I did that I put two coats of this polyurethane on the piece and there is my magnetic mat. So now it's going to be very nice for creating my layouts. I can see them and it looks pretty nice. And also for painting. So I hope you like the video. Now the first thing you really need to do with this paint is you really need to mix it. I spent about 10 minutes mixing this paint, making sure that it's well mixed and that whatever properties it has or whatever substance it has to make it magnetic was distributed throughout the, the paint. And it's pretty thick. It looks almost like tar. So I put one coat down and then I took my hair dryer, make sure it was dry before I place the other coat. And what you didn't see me here, because this is the second um, form 
foam board that I made. I made two. The first one, I kept testing the magnetic between each coat. So when I put the first coat, it really didn't hold up very well, the magnetic. I, as soon as I tapped the board, the magnets fell. So then I put a second coat of the magnet, of this, of this um, paint. And after the second coat, I put, I tested it out again and I put, um, you know, the paper and my magnet on and I bumped it. It did stay a little better, but it, the magnets did fall and uh, the paper fell. So then I put a third coat and with the third coat, it really adhered well. The magnet stayed in place pretty nicely. So that's why I tell you that you need three coats of this. It really works um, if you put three. So here I'm just drying it in between each coat, making sure that it's no longer tacky. Now my hands get all dirty, but don't worry. It does come out pretty easy with water. And see, now I'm testing it just to make sure, and I'm just showing you that it really adheres well um, with three coats. So now I'm taking the this foam um, stamp that I purchased some time ago. Uh, there was a long time ago when I started scrapbooking that these foam stamp were like the rage. So I pulled it out and I thought they would make excellent photo corners. Then I decided I had this little um, flower stamp and I decided to use that on here too. And then I'm just using a round brush to create my lines using the gesso. And the reason why I want gesso is because gesso really is nice and, and white. And I just, you know, I had it handy next to my um, table. So I'm just making sure this is nice and dry. So now that it's nice and dry, I go ahead and get some polyurethane. I got this varnish and I use about two coats of this varnish on my surface and make sure you do it outside in a well ventilated area so and that really helps so that um, to protect it and that the paint won't I feel it will protect it that the paint won't chip off so here I'm just showing you um, after I do that I'm gonna put it back on my book stand and actually I get the other one I have I made two so this one I just put it aside to make sure that it's thoroughly dry but I do get my other board that I created and I am going to show you again how well it will hold the paper up. And I'm planning to make another one my, um, for my sister as well. And I hope you like this video. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So I hope you find this video um, helpful and try creating your own little magnetic backboard and thank you for watching bye now